Hello, this is Ms. Timmons from Provost Academy, Georgia, and in this video we are going to model and solve a real-life problem involving simple interests. As you can see, I have added a table to this problem because we have a lot of information to keep track of and this will definitely assist in that process. Also, you do need to be familiar with the formula for simple interest, which is interest equals principal times rate times time, because that's going to be very important in how we set up our equations to solve the problem. So let's begin. Suppose $7,000 is divided into two bank accounts. One account pays 10% simple interest per year and the other pays 5%. After three years, there is a total of $1,451.25 in interest between the two accounts. How much was invested into each account rounded to the nearest cent? I like to organize the information as much as possible. So since we have two bank accounts, we're going to call 1A and 1B. And I just want to explain what principal means. It means the amount that you start off with. So let's say account A starts off with X dollars, the principal and account B starts off with 7,000 minus X dollars. I want to freeze right here for a moment because I know some students will have the tendency to say, well, if I put X in one account, I can put Y in another, and then the total in the two would be X plus Y equals 7,000. There's nothing wrong with that, but whenever you can express one variable in terms of another, it makes it a lot more simple to solve the equation. So instead of having a system, which means two variables and at least two equations, we can just set up one equation with one variable, which is going to be my goal here. Now that we set up the principal amounts, let's get to the rates. So for account A, I'll say the rate is 5%, and let's express that as a decimal, so it'll be 0 0.05. And account B, we'll say that was the account that had 10%. The time for both of these accounts is three years. So now we need to move on to the interest. Well, keep in mind the formula for interest is principal times rate times time. So for account A, the interest is X times 5% times 3, which will give you 0.15X. For B, principal times rate times time would be 7,000 minus X, that quantity, times 10% times 3, which comes out to be 2100 minus 0.3x. So the next part we need to pay attention to is the total amount that they had in interest for the two accounts. So when you look at the table, that last line, the interest, we're going to add those two together to equal the total. So we'll have 0.15x plus the quantity 2100 minus 0.3x equals 1451 and 25 cents. So from this point, we have one equation. We have one variable, which is x. And now we're going to solve for x. If you would like to practice your algebra, this is a good place to pause, and then you can unpause to check your work.
Now that we've solved for x, we can go back to the original question and decide how much was invested into each account. We know from the algebra that the account that paid 5% interest, which we called A, $4,325 was invested. And the account that paid 10% interest, which we called B, was $7,000 minus account A, which is 4325 And when you do the math, we see that account B contains $2,675. And there we've solved it.